Today, let's journey back in time to the Middle Ages, a fascinating period in European history, also known as the Medieval Era. Lasting from the 5th to the 15th centuries, it began with the collapse of the Western Roman Empire and ended with the dawn of the Renaissance. The Middle Ages were a time of profound transformation and complexity. In the early medieval period, often referred to as the Dark Ages, Europe faced turmoil and disruption. Kingdoms, languages, and cultures clashed and blended in a shifting landscape of power and belief. Yet, even in this darkness, seeds of the future were being sown. Let's start with the Visigoths, a Germanic people who conquered the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century. Power structures take, took shape in the form of feudalism and manoralism, both systems of hierarchical organization that bound people to land and loyalty. Simultaneously, the Catholic Church emerged as a potent entity wielding spiritual as well as temporal power. These social and political changes are integral to our understanding of personal identity and motivation as they remind us of the constant ebb and flow of power and the resilience of human adaptability. Gradually, Europe began to stabilize, flourish in the high Middle Ages. Moving forward in time, we encounter Charlemagne, the King of the Friends and Lombards, who was crowned emperor by Pope Leo III in 800 AD. Charlemagne's reign was crucial in shaping Europe's medieval era. His educational reforms and encouragement of scholarship contributed to what historians call the Carolingian Renaissance, a period of intellectual and cultural revival that hints at the curiosity and ambition that drives us today. Universities were born, Gothic architecture soared skyward, chivalry was idealized, and religious devotion deepened. Another significant player was the Islamic Caliphate of Cordoba, established in the Iberian Peninsula. Via leaders such as Abdel Rahman III, in the 10th century, the Caliphate became a beacon of learning and relative tolerance during the era, fostering advances in science, philosophy, and arts, reminding us of the power of diversity and open-mindedness. The capital city, referred to by a visiting German nun as the ornament of the world, uh, boasted extensive public works in the form of public baths, libraries holding hundreds of thousands of texts, and a mixed population of Jews, Christians, and Muslims of about a half a million persons. The late Middle Ages witnessed the Hundred Years' War, the Black Death, and the rise of humanism. By the 15th century, Europe was undergoing a transition from the Middle Ages to the Renaissance, a period of renewed interest in arts and sciences and humanities, significantly influenced by the rediscovery of classical Greek philosophy. Leonardo da Vinci, a quintessential Renaissance man, personified this period of cultural rebirth. His wide-ranging interest in art, science, and music and invention are an embodiment of our age's innovation and interdisciplinary pursuits. These events ultimately lead to the modern era. So how is it that the medieval era is relevant to our understanding of the 21st century and its identities and motivations? The Middle Ages offer a mirror to our modern world where individuals and societies grapple with change, power and faith, conflict and identity, just as they did back then. Like our ancestors, we navigate a world marked by disparities of wealth and power, struggles for resources, and clashes of cultures and beliefs. Understanding the Middle Ages helps us to see how individual identities evolved within societal structures. For example, the feudal system offered limited social mobility, yet individuals found ways to exert influence and foster change. Similarly, today, while societal structures may define certain parameters, our identities are not predetermined. We are active agents capable of shaping our destinies. We can also draw parallels between the humanism of the late Middle Ages and our modern quest for individual purpose and meaning. Just as humanists sought to reconcile faith with reason, many today strive to balance spiritual and secular values. Moreover, the Middle Ages were a period of extraordinary innovation from the mechanical clock to the university. This spirit of invention resonates with our current age of technological innovation and disruption. Finally, in the face of the Black Death, medieval societies had to adapt and evolve, just as we've had to in the face of today's global challenges like the COVID-19 pandemic. 
In essence, the Middle Ages and the subsequent Renaissance period provide an intriguing mirror to understand personal identity and motivation in the 21st century. The constant transformation, the struggle for power, the quest for knowledge, and the spirit of resilience and adaptability evident in these historical eras reflect our own times. They serve as reminders, while the context may change, the fundamental human drive to understand and adapt and shape the world around us remains constant. The past then is not just a distant mirror, but a lens which we can glean insights into our own times and lives.